Steve Now, Chief Meteorologist Chad Merrill with your full seven-day forecast. Welcome back to Newswatch, folks. Our winds are gusting out of the southwest, 25 to 30 miles an hour, so keep a firm grip on the steering wheel as you're traveling our roadways. We do have showers and storms moving across Ohio. What's going to happen is a couple of those will develop further south and move across Nicholas County here right around 11 o'clock, not expecting severe weather, but lightning, thunder, and brief heavy rain, and that'll pass through very fast. High pressure is on the other side with lots of sunshine. We are in the lower 70s right now, and temperatures tonight will drop back down into the lower 50s. Again, if you're north of Oak Hill, you'll see a thunderstorm, and you'll probably see the lightning as far south as uh, Beckley. Again, that's around 11 o'clock, not expecting any severe weather with that round. Cooler weather in Fargo, 55, but it's in the 80s in Oklahoma City. We have a boundary that will set up shop. So after a gorgeous day tomorrow behind this low pressure that's producing the severe weather rolling into western Pennsylvania, we have high pressure, beautiful sunshine, and then another cold front that will instigate showers and storms locally once we get into Friday. The pressure is rising as it moves across Ohio and that low pushes in our direction and off the coast. So those who suffer from arthritis will start to feel a little bit better in the aches and pains department as the high pressure builds in tonight and tomorrow. Our high temperature 78 degrees. It'll be a gorgeous day on Thursday. Round of showers and storms pretty much from late morning through late afternoon. Not going to rain the entire time. We're going to have some dry breaks in there. On the back side of it, folks, we have a cooler pattern and then showers to our south along that boundary will push away. So Bluefield, Tazewell County can see a couple of those showers, otherwise we'll dry. And then it'll be cold enough that we'll have a little bit of frost early next week. So your seven day forecast, gorgeous day tomorrow with a bright blue sky, 68 degrees with a couple of showers and storms, not expecting severe weather or flash flooding, just those typical large puddles that develop in the areas that have poor drainage. We're in the low 60s over the weekend and our temperatures at night get down to the low 30s. Probably Sunday night and Monday morning is our best chance for a frost advisory. Remember the temperature can be anywhere from 33 to 36 degrees and you can still get frost on a night with clear skies and a calm wind. And we're in the mid 60s Tuesday and Wednesday. Next front comes through during the middle part of the week. That's your seven day forecast and we are back with more news and sports right after this commercial break. <laughs> 